hi you guys <laughs> welcome back welcome back uh, I'm I'm like I just finished applying to two jobs or three jobs I think it's two but um, I'm like really I'm gonna start looking for officially I'm gonna start looking for a job I was going to um, get hired at this place but I don't know like <laughs> he started telling me about the salary and I was like um thank you for the opportunity you know and I went on two interviews but they're both not paying as much as I want to get paid so I had to like step, take a step back <sighs> so it's official I'm starting to look for another job <sighs> I think what did it was um so my job well yesterday like yesterday like all right, I need to get my stuff together and look for another job, you know. Um, yesterday, there was, like, this lady that came in, and now we closed earlier, and we've been closing at this specific time for a month now um, because we just don't have the staff to, like, do, like, everything, you know. Like, we were, anyway, <laughs> anyway, that's not even the point. Um, lady came in, and she just wanted to fight. Like, it was just like, uh, she said that she came yesterday and we closed at 5 o'clock. And, um, but on the website it says we close at 9. And I just apologized for her inconvenience. And she was like, yeah, I wasted two hours of my life coming down here. Um, and I just, again, I just apologized. And I just asked, um... Like, how can I help you? Like, your order and stuff like that. Like, I apologized twice before I took her order. And then she gave me her order. And um, at the end, she was like, you were very unprofessional the way you handled that. And I'm like, um, did I? Because I thought I got her order wrong. So I was like, oh, I'm sorry. Did you not order this and this? And she was like, yeah, I ordered those. Two items, by the way. Two small items she got. <laughs> like, she, she made this big scene about two small items that she wanted to get. Anyway, she doesn't want to fight, so I was like, oh, I apologize. I thought I, I thought you got this and this. And she was like, yeah, she did get that. Um, but just the way I handled um, her telling me that she came yesterday. And I'm just like, oh, I apologize. However, there's nothing I can do but apologize on behalf of the company that employs me. I understand that, like, it's extremely frustrating. Like, I can understand. Like, if I go somewhere and I plan out my day and it says that like the day close at this time and I get there and they're closed before on the website like I could understand how frustrating that is especially since like I typically only have one day off a week so if I'm going out I want to like um like strategically plan my day like oh if i'm going to laundry if i'm going to this store if i'm going to this store then i go online and check their hours what's the earliest i could go like i tend to like try to go early as possible but like i understand that like can you just like i understand that and then she was like well i didn't hear you apologize for this and i was like i apologize twice and she was like, see, just very unapologetic. And I was just like, what? But I'm talking to you low. You know, she was just like, ah, ah, you know, and I'm just like, I'm just like, I apologize. Because, I, again, I understand. Like, if I go somewhere and, like, on the website it says that you guys are open and I get there and you guys are closed, come on. Like, come on. <laughs> like, what? Um, But I wouldn't, like, get mad at, like, the freaking retail worker you know like does she think I have like um like I have stock in a company where like I can just like make these hours <sighs> anyway it kind of made me cry it made me cry it didn't kind of it made me cry yesterday and like this um Asian lady that was like help was um being helped by like my co-worker she was like wow the nerve of some people are you okay and I'm just like really emotional so I was like crying a little bit I was like yeah I was like I just don't know what she expected me to do I just work here like I don't you know which lead me to believe that she's gonna write a review or talk to customer service and complain about me and lie and say I didn't apologize to her but it's like oh gosh people I just don't understand how people think that like I just don't understand I just don't understand 
<sighs> anyway, oh my god, I got my breakfast here. I just this a this is a yogurt bowl. Honestly, it's just um some granola, some pineapples, and some uh, yogurt. I'm gonna mix it all together. Um, I <laughs> I um my yogurt container i like rinsed it out and put it in the recycling and then my cat went into the recycling thinking that like i just put it there looking for it and then he realized i completely rinsed it out and he just like <laughs> giving me the shame stare um this is what it looks like after you mix it all together it's gonna be so yummy so excited and i just got my lemon water here <sighs> anyway i just did it i was like you know what Time for a change of pace, you know? Like, I've worked retail my whole life. Not retail, because I was a barista for, uh, like, half of my now working career. So now I just want to do something else. I want to do something that doesn't deal with customer service. Like, I just don't want to do it. Yeah, I just don't want to do it. And it's getting so bad at my job. And it just was like, ugh. now it's like everyone is sick, you guys. Everyone is sick. And that's another reason why um, we um, are cutting our hours is because like my manager, my assistant store manager, two of my leads, that's that's like that's like the backbone of the store manager and assistant store manager sick with COVID. What? I'm just so happy that like I have yet to get COVID and I wasn't the first one in my store to get COVID like because I just. I just didn't want to be the first, like, there's nothing wrong if you got COVID or anything like that. Like, I'm not judging my um, coworkers or anything like that. It's just personally, I just didn't want to be the first person to bring it to the store. Because, like, now my assistant store manager, um, my store manager, and two of my leads had COVID. So, it's like, who gave it to who, you know? Like, who came to work and gave it to those other people, you know? You should see me when I'm at work. I got like a face mask. I wear two face masks. And then sometimes we have like the shield, the protective eye shield. But some I don't I don't wear that. Although now I'm starting to I'm thinking maybe I should wear that. But it's only because like I'm the only one that's not I'm the only one that's gonna be wearing that. The face shield, you know? So it's like I'm gonna be out of place, kind of. And then I got like two customers that was like upset. Because they had to wear a face mask indoors. Like, uh, what? Like, and this lady, she was like, well, can I just order real quick? I was like, no, you need to wear a face mask. Like, and we were crowded, you know? Like, and no one is standing, like, six feet apart. They're standing, like, maybe two feet apart. But I'm just like, oh, I'm sorry, you have to wear a face mask indoors. If you don't have one, we have one right by the entrance. And I, like, point. Um, but nicer not like i'm talking to you guys <laughs> like more professional but um yeah and she's like well can i just order real quick and get out and i was like no indoors you have to and she's like this is ridiculous and I, she had like a, uh, a german accent or a russian accent i can't really tell the accents apart what if it's like romanian anyway um and i'm just like is this the first time you've ever heard that you have to wear um face mask indoors because the way these people were acting it was just like, what? I just made up this random policy that they don't know they have to wear masks inside. And it was crowded to the point where, like, there was, like, a line. Like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, more than 10 people waiting online. And she thought it was okay to come in to this crowded store without a face mask on. Ugh. Anyway, I'm about to eat my granola. Oh. <laughs> you see my cat? Oh, the reason why I'm not giving him any... It's because he was on my bed yesterday. Not only on my bed, but he went under, under the blanket. Now, mind you, it was like 70 something in my house. My 70, 72 degrees, 74, whatever. 70 degrees around 70, 70 to 75 degrees in my apartment yesterday. And he went under my blanket and just like, and then he, uh, you know, the bread. Did I show you guys a haul? I got some whole, some bread from Whole Foods. He, um, I didn't put it inside my bread box. I put it on top of my bread box. He got it down, teared it up. It was all over the floor. There was some in the living room, some, well, in this living area. And then there was some, like, over there. It was just, like, 
What? He must have just did it when I left out the house because all of the bread was hard. It wasn't soft anymore. He got every single slice out of that bag just to, just to I don't know, a challenge or something. He ripped it open. He ripped it open, you guys. So I'm mad at him. And remember when I was like, I think my cat, um, I think my cat knows how to cut on my heater, my heated blanket. Still haven't, still haven't figured it out yet. Still haven't figured out if he did it because like, is it on? Okay, it's off. Um, cause it's off now, but yesterday, I don't know if I accidentally stepped on it when I was like, lint rolling my bed, but it was on. It was on. Mm hmm I'm like breaking out a lot. This morning, I was pruning my tomato plants. And I pruned two tomatoes off of it. Actually, three, but the other one, um, I threw it away and I was trying to go in the trash. I noticed it. This is the last one to throw away. And I noticed it when I was about to throw it away. Can't believe I did that. I cannot believe I did that. I mean, like. Oh my god, it snowed! Oh my god, it snowed! I didn't even notice that! Holy crap! My friend just texted me, Are you happy it's snowing? I'm like, girl, yeah! But then I was like, wait! <laughs> I'm so excited, it snowed! I love the snow. Oh yeah, back to this. Um. I didn't pollinate this so what I'm thinking what happened because sometimes I knock on my little um where I have it my little baker's rock thing um sometimes I bump into it and shake it so and then um I'm thinking maybe the pollen from above it like fell on it and that's how it like pollinated oh my god I'm so excited it's snowing all right I'm gonna eat my breakfast and I'll bring you guys back in a moment snowing you guys Snowing. I'm gonna spray out my sink with my homemade fabuloso. Well, it's fabuloso in water, <laughs> but I like to just spray out my sink a little bit before I go. I just spray it. I don't like like scrub it or anything like that. There's nothing in my sink, by the way. <sighs> I'm thinking about what I should bring for lunch. Oh wait, I didn't even show you. Okay, so my true I found alright, so I found these online and I didn't know they sold these. So this is true lime, but it's like in a pack like that, and this is true lemon. So I've been waiting for my chicken to be defrosted, which is still frozen, but I have it here. Still frozen. I think tonight it should be defrosted. It's been in my refrigerator for three days now. Um, I think today it should still be, it should defrost officially. So I'm thinking about making some lemon lime chicken. Or I was thinking of making, um, like, I'm breaking out, ignore it. Because I have some cilantro that's about to go bad. So I'm thinking about making, like, some lime cilantro chicken. Sounds amazing, right? I just want this to turn on. <laughs> It's broken, and my, um, oh, dust, and my, um, new heater won't come until, I think, two days, what's today? Oh, four days, not coming for another four days. <sighs> okay, well, with that being said, I'm gonna get ready to go to work because it is snowing outside so i want to like go outside and explore the snow so i'm going to end today's vlog now you guys will see me tomorrow when i upload another video at 2 p.m and i'll see you guys in the comments below later you guys